All right, welcome to online pre-calculus with trigonometry. So in this video, we're just gonna take a few minutes to figure out how to navigate back Blackboard and go through all the various buttons so that when you get started with the course, you'll know exactly where to go. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do whenever you go into Blackboard is always click on this announcements page. On this announcements page, it will have what you need to do every day of the week. So for example, this is your very first week. This is going to give you your instructions on what you need to do this week. Please take a minute and fill out this Padlet, your student information form. You're going to begin starting working on the getting button started. Please keep in mind this is due this Friday, August 31st. Make sure that you intend the live orientations and the back to school night for parents. All right, so if you take a look at the first thing you need to do is that getting started folder. If you click on this button right here, this will take you to all the assignments that you need to complete this week. Please take a look at this orientation video. It'll give you some extra information. And then please take a minute and click on the class setup and checklist. This is mandatory and due by Friday. So if you click on that over here, it will have all of the assignments that you need to complete. Notice how this says page one of 18. Just keep clicking over there and it will go through the various things that you need to complete in order to be ready for your course. The next thing you're gonna do is go to course material. This is where you're going to find all of your information that you need in order to learn the material for pre-calculus. So notice here you have your first couple of units available. What you'll want to do is you'll actually want to click on the unit and then for example here you're going to then click on the unit again. So notice how this says unit six. You'll click on unit six it's going to take you to this website and you're going to need to click once again right there. Finally, your course materials will come up and you'll need to click to start the unit package. Now, see how I have a little screen down here at the bottom? That will come up. These over arrows are what you're going to need in order to scroll through the lessons. So notice how this says your assignments will all be labeled unit six, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. So for example, if your assignment is to go through unit six, lesson one, you're gonna use these over arrows to scroll through. Notice how within lesson one, there are three various topics. So you'll need to go through all three of those topics in order to complete lesson one. So continue to scroll over and it will take you through all of the topics you need to complete unit six, lesson one. Um, also, please keep in mind that sometimes this uh, box that has your course content in it will go away. You'll just need to go at the bottom and look for the name of the unit and it should take you there. All right, so let's continue to go back to our course. Okay, um, right here underneath this, this is your math space textbook. So if you're gonna click on this, this is your math space. This is what you'll be using for your textbook this year. Go ahead and click on that and that you will enter your Fairfax County username and password to get into math space. Assignments is where you will have all of your basic assignments that you can use your notes for to work on. So for example, the unit zero review, um, there are no assignments in this one, but they are all in your quizzes and tests. So these are basically like your homework assignments. Your quizzes and tests are in this button right here. So for example, you'll click on unit zero review and here are all of your assignments or your quizzes and tests for that specific unit. If you would like to see your grades, click on my grades. My screen's gonna look a little bit different than yours since I don't have any grades. Now notice how there are some due dates here. Um, it will tell you your grade over here out of one, out of five, out of five, out of 12. If you've completed it, there'll be an explanation point on there. So make sure you click that explanation point and it will act, that will mean I need to grade it. If there's a grade there, you can click on this and click on the assignment and get your grade. The virtual classroom, if you click on that, that's going to take you to our live chat that we'll be having every Thursday at 7 p.m. Chat archives, if you click on that, this will have all of the instructions and all of the chats for the year and directions on how to make those assignments up if you miss them. Here is our syllabus and policies. Please make sure that you are taking a minute and printing out the syllabus, the course policies and expectations. This is the Fairfax County school year calendar and under quarter calendars is where I will be uploading the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter calendars for pre-calculus. If you need some help with Blackboard, this is the information that you're going to use to contact Blackboard for help. It will take you to a website. 
okay? For collaborate help, so that's the live chat. If you're having questions, go ahead. Here's a phone number and option to check. And if you'd like to email me, here is my information. You can also call me. That information is also on your syllabus. If you have any questions as you're navigating through the course materials, let me know and I'm happy to help.